Hello, this is Ness Tilson here and this is a short video in answer to a question by Terry who is asking how to set, use um, manufacturing methods to set up quickly uh, edging on cabinets and set back certain uh, set back shelves all in one go without having to individually clicking on each element. So let's take a simple example, let's just set up a cabinet and let's just take out, um, for instance, in this cabinet here, if we look in 3D, we just have a cabinet here. We have no edging, there's no edging displayed on the front edges, and there's no shelves. Let's put in, um, what, let's just put in a couple of shelves. Let's add, say, three shelves. And see, Polyboard by default just puts the shelves in, and the shelves are here flush with the front. Now, supposing that I have a cabinet with loads of shelves, and I don't want to have to click on each, I want to set each shelf back, say 50 mil. But I don't want to have to do it individually clicking on each shelf because there's lots of them. Well, the easiest way to do it is, of course, using our libraries and our manufacturing methods. Best thing to do is just to use a sub method, a uh, method being only an assembly of sub methods. So let's take a sub method, and what we want to do, for instance, here we want a sub method that concerns our divisions, which is shelves and uprights. Um, by default, we get in here the, the sub method divisions on all panels for recessed zeros. That means all the panels are butting up butt joints against the other panels. But we're going to add a uh, um, a sub method of I'm going to add a rule to this sub method and when I click on add a rule we have always have this dialog box which enables us to define how we want to, different boards to interact with one another so what we really want here is we want all shelves so I'm going to take here if I click on this I click, you know I tick shelves we'll get any shelf that we put into this particular cabinet um, I would like also eventually uprights if I click here, open this uprights, and I want all vertical divisions, uprights, one, two, and three. All uprights as well. And maybe I also want all three divisions in this particular project. And I, all these particular elements, when they are linked to the, another element, I want something to happen. And what other element I want them linked to? Well, what I want them to be linked to is, well, we want to link to, link to this cabinet's box. Well, so let's say that everything that's linked to the front and we want it to be set back 50 mil. If I click to OK, and now I click OK, and I say apply this to the whole cabinet, see all the shelves have been set back 50 mil. And if I put in, for instance, if I put in, let's change the size of this cabinet a bit. Let's say we want the, the height to be now 2 meters high, with these shelves set back 50 mil. And I put in here a upright, automatically it will also be set back 50 mil. So you can see that is one way we've just taken everything in the cabinet one particular element and given its relationship to the another type of element and defined a rule. Well if we have a look at our cabinet we have our cabinet like this. Now another, another the other question of Terry was how do I do set up a edging all around this cabinet without having to put an edging going onto each particular board here and going on the front we want an edge here. Well it's the same thing. Let's use libraries, sub methods, edging styles. Let's add an edging style and say that everything, all the tops, the bottoms and the sides of our cabinet box for, which is our box, all when they reach, when they are on the front, the front of these elements, front here, OK, and we want, here we have the top, all priorities going up to the front, bottom, all priorities going up to the front, side, all priorities going up to the front. We want, they've got no edge for the time being, we're going to click here, and we're going to put in an edging. In the edgings library, we've put on edgings. OK, apply to my cabinet, and now we have edging all along the fronts. The edging here being a red edging all along the fronts. So I hope that's been interesting for you. It's a very, very powerful, easy way of setting up 
different styles of manufacturing that's why we call it manufacturing methods um, and really this is one of the really powerful points of polyboard which make editing cabinets really easy quick and quite fun okay hope you enjoyed this little video and I hope to be seeing you soon in another video goodbye